Well, time for a quick check out the headlines here this hour. Leaders of eight South American countries have agreed to reduce deforestation in the Amazon. They met at a summit in Brazil and signed a declaration to conserve the world's largest rainforest. But critics say it doesn't go far enough. As the Amazonia of Bolivia. There are many Amazons. The Amazons of Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, Guyana, Peru, Suriname and Venezuela are represented here in this meeting. As a whole, these Amazons are home to many others. The Amazon of the forest and cities. The Amazon of workers, women and young people. The Amazon of indigenous peoples and traditional communities. The Amazon of culture, science and ancestral knowledge. Yes, President Joe Biden has announced a new national monument in Arizona to protect land from uranium mining. 4,000 square kilometers of the Grand Canyon National Park will now be protected. Opponents say it'll encroach on private land and could affect local cattle ranching. China's exports have suffered their worst fall in three years as demand from the US and Europe falls. It's the weakest performance in Beijing's international trade since the start of the coronavirus pandemic in early 2020. The West African bloc ECOWAS says no options have been taken off the table as Niger's military coup enters its third week. Delegations from the United Nations, the African Union and the regional bloc ECOWAS have been denied entry to the country. The junta say their safety cannot be guaranteed. Talks between city authorities and taxi operators in Cape Town have stalled. Minibus taxi drivers have been on strike for nearly a week, angry over traffic laws they say are unfairly targeting their industry. The strike has seen days of violence and transport disruption. A hearing in the case against Donald Trump of accusations he tried to overturn the 2020 presidential election will be held on Friday. Lawyers want the judge to limit what the former president and his team can share during the trial. And heavy rains and landslides across southeastern Bangladesh have killed at least seven people. Four of them were Rohingya in a refugee camp. Thousands of Bangladeshis have been forced from their homes. Rescue teams are trying to reach many people who are still trapped by the floodwaters.